Hey guys, sorry about being away for a while. I've just been ill. <laughs> Not been lazy. Fuck it. Um, yeah, should we just get into it? Welcome guys to another X4 Foundations Guide. Today we're diving deep into the game's user interface. The UI in X4 can feel overwhelming at first, but by the end of the video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to navigate it like a pro. Let's get started. Let's start with the heads-up display or HUD that you'll be seeing most of the time while flying. At the bottom middle of the screen, you'll see the status bar, which shows your ship shields and hull integrity. These are crucial for survival, especially in combat situations. Directly above the status bar is your throttle indicator playing your ship's current speed. Adjusting your throttle will help you control your flight, whether you're maneuvering in combat or docking at stations. To the right of the hatch, you'll see your weapon status. This shows your current equipped weapons, their ammo count and readiness if applicable. Keep an eye on this during combat to ensure you're using the right weapons. Just below the hood and right above the radar, you'll find icons for auto roll, collision avoidance, flight assistance, aim assist, autopilot and mouse steering. These toggles gives you control over your ship's flight assistance systems. Above these icons, you'll see indicators for auto missile, ammo, and forward speed. These will help you manage your ship's combat cap. Cap. Oh, fuck me, Jesus Christ! Am I? These will help you manage your ship's combat capabilities at a glance. Fuck. Finally, at the bottom middle is the radar. The radar gives you 3D view of your immediate surroundings, showing ships, stations, and other objects. It's a vital tool for situational awareness in busy areas or during combat. Next, let's talk about the sector map. Press M to bring up the map. This is your primary tool for navigating and managing your assets in this sector. The map shows all the stations, ships and points of interest nearby. However, you can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel and click on objects for more information. However, note that you cannot dock a directly from the map. You'll need to manually approach stations and interact with them in game. Along the top of the map, you'll see options such as player information, Ship Interactions, Encyclopedia, and Tutorial, and Help. These options provide quick access to various gameplay resources. On the left hand side, you'll find Object List, Property Owned, Mission Office, Mission Manager, Information, and Manage Plots. The Object List shows all the ships and stations in the current sector, while Property Owned is where you manage your personal assets. If you're looking for missions or tasks, the mission offers and mission manager tabs are key. And for players looking to build stations, the manage plots tab is where you start planning your construction projects. Projects? Projects. Managing your ships and fleets is essential to your success in X4. To manage your ships, open the sector map by pressing M and navigate to the property own tab on the left hand side. From here you'll see a list of all your own ships and stations to issue orders or check information on a specific ship. Right click on the ship from the list and select information. This will bring up the ship's details, including its cargo and current tasks. To view or assign crew, click on the crew button in this menu. If you need to assign tasks to the ship, you will need to navigate to the behavior tab within the ship's information panel. From here you can set the ship's behaviours such as auto mining, trading or patrolling. For managing fleets, you can assign individual ships to squads. To do this right click a ship from the property own tab and assign it to a squad, making it a subordinate to another ship. This helps organise ships into a functional group, making it easier to manage them during large scale operations or combat scenarios. Now let's look at how trading works in X4. Once you've discovered a station and are in the proximity to it, you'll automatically receive updated prices for that station. If you place a satellite, if you place a satellite near a station, those prices will remain updated as long as the satellite is active. To view and toggle trade data on the map, look at the top right corner of the map screen. Here you'll see three buttons, trade, mining and other. Clicking the trade button will show the latest prices for goods at nearby stations, if you have a satellite near them. You can use this to find trade opportunities for your ships, once trade prices are displayed, select one of your trade ships from the property owned tab and manually assign them trade tasks based on the prices you see on the map. Keep an eye on the best deals to optimize your trading routes. Managing your personnel is vital to running your ships and stations smoothly. To access the player information menu, go to the top of the map screen and click on the player information button. On the player information screen, you'll find various tabs on the left hand side. These include Empire. This tab provides an overview of your empire status. Factions and Relations, Track your standings with different factions, Statistics, Review your in-game achievements and performance, Inventory, 
Check your personal items and resources. Modifications, manage ship upgrades and modifications. Spacesuit upgrades, review and install upgrades to your spacesuit. Global orders, set universe behaviors for your assets. Account management, track your account balances. Personal management, assign crew members to your ships and stations. Messages, review in-game communications. Transaction log, view financial transactions. Logbook, keep track of important events and missions. Use the personal management tab to assign roles to your crew, such as pilots, engineers, or marines. Managing personnel effectively is key to boosting your fleet's efficiency. And that wraps up our overview of the UI in X4 Foundations. With these tools at your disposal, you'll be navigating the game like a veteran pilot in no time. If this guide helped you, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more X4 content. But seriously, please subscribe because you don't understand how much it helps. It really does. And I want to get like it's the end of the video now, so I can just do my little random shit. But dude, I looked at my analytics on my channel and I see like. Fuck, there's a lot to do. Jesus. Directly above the status bar in your. Th Fucking, why do I just lose the ability to talk? Review your in-game. If this guide helped you, please. Fucking, if and that wraps up the the. Fucking, it's the end. Why can I not do it? Why can I not? Oh, that wraps up our overview. Ah, oh, fuck me.